Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please, a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario nor your personal financial goals, and therefore, none of which relied upon as any of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. I want to continue to keep looking at lithium. It's been a big story we've had all year, and I want to sort of put into context what's going on with Gina Reinhardt and her takeover of Azure Metals, along with what she's done in Liontown, and therefore what it means probably for lithium going forward. The conclusion is, we all know anyway, is that lithium is a future metal. We know that if somebody like Hancock Prospecting is not only buying at a premium to some share prices, but over the top to block internal takeovers and external takeovers, it shows how important she believes it is and how important it will be to Hancock Prospecting's mix over the next 20 to 30 years. It therefore also points to the fact that lithium this year, although it's had an absolute shocker, and there's no other way to put it that way, that you know, if you look at it, it's been down as much as 60% from its peak at the start of the year, that now might be that time that people are starting to look through it. And it explains why somebody as savvy as Gina Reinhardt is now starting to put her money on the table and look into that future. But it is that future. And the future is going to come. It's a question of how fast. And that's the part in the argument for you is that when will this happen? When and how will the sector move in the direction? What gets me as an analyst that looks into this space, when m and is on the table, which is what's going on with Jane and Reinhardt, that starts to show you that maturity is on its way. It's not here yet, but it's coming because when we get to a position where it all consolidates like it is right now, there will be a winner. Don't know who that is, and I've said that throughout the year. But lithium next year is going to have that very, very interesting period as M&A really picks up and those big tier one tenements that will be there in the next 10 years start to really get fought for.